Today I'm going to answer a question I get all the time from people. What does it mean if I'm driving my car and a check engine light comes on, but then later it turns itself off? Should I be worried? And what does it mean? Now your check engine light is part of the OBD2 warning system in your car. When that light comes on as you drive, the computer is telling you it's found a problem in the car. And if the check engine light flashes on and off while you're driving, it means it's a serious problem and you should get it looked at right away. But if it's only on, it could be any of these numerous causes. Just look at them all, page after page after page after page of possibilities. It could be something as dumb as your gas cap is loose, or it could be something as bad and expensive as needing a new catalytic converter. And here's what it means if the light comes on while you're driving, but then later you're driving it turns itself off. Now while you're driving your car down the road, the computer is constantly running a bunch of tests on your car's systems. It's an endless system of testing to see if anything is wrong, and every few minutes when it's done testing, guess what? It starts all over again and tests all the systems. And if it finds a problem, and the next test it finds it again, after a certain amount of tests coming positive, it turns on the check engine light for a trouble code for the system that it's found a problem in. Then it turns the check engine light on. But it doesn't stop there, it keeps testing and testing, and then if it doesn't find that problem again, over and over again on the next test, it will turn the check engine light back off. Now I've had customers in the past get some gasoline that was a little weak and then once they put another tank of gas in the light went off and never came back so we know it was just a little bit of bad gas. And no it doesn't mean that your car needs a little Pepto-Bismol. It just means that your car's computer system is so sensitive that it can collect small imperfections and warn you about them and then when they get even smaller it says don't even worry about them. And of course if you're curious about what's going on, you get a scanner and have it scanned because the historical codes if you don't remove the battery will be stored for quite some time, you'll be able to see what it thinks was wrong. But if it comes on, then goes off, I wouldn't even worry about it myself as long as the car runs okay. Because in our modern computer controlled society, you have to realize there are some things that you want to worry about and other things, eh. It's just another one of those computer glitches that we're going to live with. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from paradise. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.